All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 14 on the Long Trail. I'm still at the Days of the Best Western in Waterbury. Such a nice hotel. This is a great option. Um, most of the food in Waterbury is about a 0.5 walk, so there's that. But it's on a side road, actually, through a neighborhood, so it's not a bad walk. But you've got Shaw's Grocery Store, um, a nice convenience store up there that has um, self, or I'm sorry, prepared food that you can buy. It's got a hardware store right up there. I didn't see any gas cans, but before I forget, the sporting goods store in downtown Waterbury has plenty of gas cans if that's what you're looking for um, when you get up to Waterbury, so go see them. Great stay, great zero. Body's feeling good. Feet are almost healed up. Um, legs were hurting a little bit yesterday. It's starting to worry me a little bit about my IT band, so we just went to work on that. I'm about to do some stretching right now. Life's, life's as good as it can be as we're about to head up these last 90 miles left of the trail or whatever we got left. <sighs> Made plane reservations yesterday, so I have basically seven days to finish this hike, uh, which will be next Tuesday. Um, and I'm already lining up a ride to get to Burlington to fly out. So that all looks pretty good right now, as long as I can make it up there in seven days. And I'm pretty sure I can, because if you average that out, it's only, I don't know, 11, 12 miles a day. No, I guess it'd be 12 or 13. Either way, we can get it done. Yeah, other than that, um, we're just getting primed right now. The ride gets here at 7 o'clock. We're going to get back on trail and see what we can do today. Got a lot of climbing, a lot of descents. Um, just a story of the long trail. All right, y'all. Um, I think that's about it this morning. I'm going to go ahead and finish my coffee do some stretching, and um, go eat some breakfast. Pray they got some dental floss up there because I've only got one dental pick thing left, and that thing isn't going to last. Um, I forgot to get it at the store yesterday. Yeah, by the way, Shaw's Grocery Store is awesome. It's expensive. Um, you got to shop around for some deals in there, but everything you need, and it's only about 0.3 away. So anyway, great place, hot tub, indoor pool that's all in cased in glass. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw some of that in my story. Yeah, that's about it. All right, y'all. I'm excited to get back on trail. Let's do it. Listen, if you're doing the long trail and you're coming into Waterbury, Stay at the Best Western. It has everything. The old Stagecoach Inn was nice. This place is legit. This is the best breakfast I've seen at a place like this in a long time. So we got zucchini and squash and onions and mushroom mix, scrambled eggs, bacon, fruit, make your own granola type stuff. And I've got the waffle cooking over there with pure vanilla Vermont syrup. And there's so much more. There's oatmeal, obviously Green Mountain coffee, cereal. Like this place is legit. This is a hiker heaven right here. All right, back on trail. I had a short little road walk. Had to come under a bridge. Under, I think it's 89. <laughs> And then this paved road has been straight uphill. I got some steep paved roads in Vermont. I ain't even gonna lie. But the trail turn is right up here. Get back on dirt. I'm caffeinated. I'm loaded with food in my belly and in my backpack. Yep. Got some new shoes on the feet. Let's do it. Let's see what the day has in store. We'd like to get in 16 today, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Here's the trail.
close out Waterbury. I thought it was a fantastic town. Maybe because I got to stay at the stagecoach the first night and got to really explore downtown. Water mat good, restaurants good. Now the place is pricey. Everything in New England's pricey. According, you know, if you come from the south, all this is expensive. But if you're somebody who has some money to spend, not to worry about prices, it's a great town to split up Camel's back or Camel back in uh, Mansfield. Yeah, good times. I was filming yesterday, but I didn't film a lot. Really just wanted a day to soak it all in. So, yeah, good times. I feel refreshed. The body's feeling good. IT van on my left side. Aggravated a little bit. Hoping we can walk through that. Because when mine gets aggravated, boy, it can go to where I can't even walk. But hopefully we won't get to that point. Yeah, keep pushing north. Going to Canada. Let's go. Uh, while we're up on this ridge line, just thinking through some logistics and just filling you folks in because I know a lot of y'all are hikers and logistics is a huge part of it. So I have basically what I'm calling a three plus day food supply in my food bag. It's heavy for three days, um, but my hiker hunger is insatiable at this point. I know kidding, probably ate at least 1500 calories for breakfast between what I ate in the room when I woke up. And then you saw most of what I ate. I ate a waffle too. Um, so that should get me up to Johnson. Hopefully I should be there in the morning or around lunch of day three of this maybe. So day after tomorrow maybe. Um, I'm gonna run into the Dollar General, which is looks like point eight down the road, or maybe a little less. Also, run in the hardware store, and maybe grab another two or three nights of Mountain House meals. So here they have them. Maybe I'll start off at the hardware store first, but I know I'm gonna have to go to the Dollar General anyway to get some snacks, probably. Anyway, yep, and then that's gonna do me for the last. 40-ish, 40 or 50-ish miles of the trail. Again, I've got till next Tuesday. I need to be finishing and heading to Burlington so I can catch my Wednesday morning flight. Yeah, we got a lot of rain in the forecast too. Like 30%, 40% on days. But these first two days look good, so I'm gonna try to make some miles. Let's head north, y'all. Just ran into Jupiter from Jupiter Hikes. If anybody's familiar with hikers on YouTube, probably know who Jupiter is. He's awesome. I think he puts out great content. So in depth with his thoughts and his philosophy around hiking. Yeah, awesome. It's good to meet him, I think. His girlfriend Lotus will be coming down here soon. But Jupiter, if you ever watched this, man, it was awesome meeting you. Hope y'all have a great time in Waterbury. not flowing much but there is movement we went ahead and got a bottle full out of here because man we have been on a ridge line and it is dry and the next shelter's just under five miles away well that's not true there's one before that but it's down a long side trail so no all right Summit of Mount Bo Bolton. That was a fun climb. I'll relate that climb for all you AT 
aficionados felt like coming up the south side of Musa Lock, that long continuous rocky path I didn't mind that too much but as you can see we have an obstructed view that's okay enjoying the day it's gorgeous nice cool breeze blowing the trail goes down that way I wonder what I don't think that's the AT all right pushing north good look across at Mansfield what we'll be tackling tomorrow I would love to get that knocked out today don't think the time or the body or the energy or the nothing else the water the shelters i don't think any of it'll work out right so we'll figure out an alternate plan and hit it tomorrow just got eaten lunch at the puffer puffer shelter or something i'd have to look again and man there were people there and i was talking eating and having a good time and walked away and remembered i didn't film anything or take pictures y'all this shelter overlooks the world it's incredible you know um, for all of you who follow handstand list kidder if you go over to their channel I think it's their 200 mile video is the title of the video when they were on the LT a couple of weeks ago they show it go look at that shelter they get a good I think they get a good pano of what that shelter is looking at it is awesome my mileage never lines up I would stay in that shelter for sure that was amazing On the mental side of things today try to explain what's going on in my head so i leave town two nights of great sleep eating good drinking good feeling healing good so my rider is just wide open but surprisingly i've been able to maintain presence for a good portion of the day but i just caught myself way out in the front thinking about next week and even two days from now what trail's gonna be like going in at johnson resupplying maybe staying to nah bed and breakfast and then i just stopped looked around so but you're not at those places you're right here so freaking be here here we are back it's a constant battle it's okay to think ahead to make a plan but make the freaking plan and then let it go it does no good to sit there and live in the future or live in the past when you're in Vermont hiking in some of the most incredible scenery in nature that you will freaking find this trail is amazing but only if you let it be only if you let everything else go the matrix will be back soon enough in your life Just be right here right now wherever you are for all you're going to do the AT or either the LT. When I see roots, my warning signs go off every time. Roots are the worst support. The worst. These are dry. Probably won't be as bad. <clears throat> if I'm skimming over a section of terrain and I have a rock or a root, a wet rock or a wet root to choose from, I'm choosing a rock every single time. Roots are the cause of all evil. Out here. All right, so anyway see this tangled mess got a ladder down there um this is pretty cool thanks whoever put the ladder up ladder's look, looking a bit rickety but we're gonna go with it anyway all right let's figure out a way to get down this yeah oh and by the way i know you're not gonna be able to see through there there is some red and oranges and yellows popping out there hell yeah fall is here y'all oh i love it i love it so grateful.
water is definitely not as abundant on the northern side of this trail. So this is a godsend. I was gonna have to wait to the tent spot, tent campground. No, we're gonna fill up here, get some electrolytes going. Yes, the trail does provide. So I was carrying two, two liter smart water bottles when we started, but I wised up a little bit and move into the wider bottom, wider mouthed Powerade bottle. This only plays in my favor if this this other one stays healthy. Got a Dollar General up the road, though I'm sure we can find another one if we need it. But this, I mix my veggie powder every night, mix electrolytes. I'm trying to do all that into the tiny little opening of the smart water bottle, my clean one. Didn't make a lot of sense. And to be honest with you, in one of my tired stupors at the end of the day, I filled up my clean bottle with some dirty water, so I probably need to get rid of it anyway. Sometimes that's just how it goes. So we are going to mix some guava liquid IV. It is, I don't know what time, I keep forgetting I don't have my watch on, but it's definitely time for my afternoon electrolyte mix. I put the trash back in my tundra. I get to talking when I'm around people like the shelter. And like I stick my trash bag that's supposed to be in here. No, I'll stick it back in my food bag because I'm not thinking. Anyway, cheers. We're gonna chug this right now. I know there's some of you out there saying, are thinking, wouldn't that be better if you only drank a little bit of it at a time and maybe. To be honest with you, I'm not that worried about it. So I still got another pack for today that we're gonna drink for for dinner probably. I, I was cramping the first few nights here. Ah, maybe just the first night. It's because I got behind on those electrolytes. So my tent, boy, whoo, I paid the price with some nice um, hamstring cramps and calf cramps. So electrolytes before bed, important. Magnesium pill before bed, important. Um, I take fish oil before bed. I wish I brought more out here. I might buy some at the dollar store. I don't know about that dollar store fish oil though. You'll never know where they're getting it at. All right, y'all, start heading north. Oh, you know what? Before we do, Snickers bar. I'll get back with y'all. Yeah, baby. Long trail, 2021. 200 miles down, about 72 to go. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm ready to go right now. Do all 72 right now. Or do about 0.5 more to the campsite and then get up and do it again tomorrow. All right, true Gossamer Gear fashion. This backpack does really good with the heavier load. So I've got four liters of water. I'm lugging 0.3 to the tent site. It's a bunch of platforms. I think I heard eight platforms or something like that. So we're gonna check it out and set up there. Or maybe we'll just cook dinner and, and move on and try to find a stealth site. But regardless, we will have water. Onward. All right, we're gonna close out day 14. Got the tent set up on the platform. This is the back of it. Only had to use three of my little hooks in the back. I'll give you an up close to that. <clears throat> These are just those tiny little picture hangers. When you pull those things out, man, you just put your foot back down and it really does no damage to the platform, even though other people like to argue otherwise. People are always gonna argue. All right, so front of it, all my other stakes are out in the dirt, so works out pretty well. It's got a pretty good pitch, actually, so happy with it. 
All right, so good day left Waterbury. Started hiking about 7.15. <clears throat> Pretty cruisy at first. Bonus of the day, got to meet Jupiter. That was awesome. And his girlfriend, um, Lotus. Very good talking to both of you. Um, if you're not watching Jupiter on YouTube, like I said earlier, you should go to his channel and check him out, man. He's got great hiking content. Just a good theory on life. He's a minimalist. I love watching that because it's just... It's what I strive to be, but what I'm so far from. Um, yeah, I got to the campsite, did 16 today, which is good. Wanted to do more, had more in the tank. Um, there's just nowhere to go. The next shelter is only a mile and something away, but it's a indoor only. There's no camping there. Five dollars trapped inside with a bunch of people. No, thank you. And then somebody was already here setting up when i got here i was like uh here we go hopefully it's somebody nice and once again it's my boy cirrus cirrus wave at everybody so that's cirrus up there that's the guy that i stayed in the sunset shelter with that i was telling y'all about so it was cool i was happy when i got down here we've had some good conversations while we were eating our mountain house meals so it's been a good night <clears throat> looking forward to tomorrow we're going over Mansfield. Everything I've seen looks pretty uh, fun, intimidating. So wake up early and get at that. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get in the tent, get a little warmer, it's a little chilly. It's gonna be a good sleep at night. Uh, got my new pad or a pad that my wife sent. So I've got the uh, Neo X Air, Neo X Lite, whatever the hell it is. Anyway, it'll be a little bit warmer than the one I sent home so looking forward to that all right we're gonna wake up tomorrow and do it all again I will see y'all manana thanks for joining family miss you love y'all thanks for holding the holding the fort down all right y'all deuces <laughs>